Hello. In this video, we're going to work through this example here. So we want to give an example of an ambiguous case triangle, and we want to calculate all angles for each case. And I said here, note, I cannot tell you what ambiguous means. Um, the reason why I put that is because ambiguous is a word that you need to understand for this unit. And I like to remind students regularly that math is just as much a course in language. Understanding what words means makes the problems much more accessible. So an ambiguous case triangle is a case where the given information could result in more than one possible triangle. And the case that it, the case when this happens is an angle side side. Okay, so if the information that's given to you is an angle and two sides, then it is possible that you might draw more than one triangle. And let's look at why that happens. So to work through this problem, I'm going to start by just drawing a triangle. Let's try this again. So the blue is going to be the given information. And I'm going to tell you that this angle is 30 degrees. I'll say that this length is 6. And we'll say that this length is 5. And we're going to call this A. We'll call this point B. And we'll call this point C. So if I said to you, for example, given A is equal to 30 degrees, length A is equal to 5, and C is equal to 6, this is an angle side side case. And the reason why there's more than one triangle that can be drawn is because, think of this. You see this length BC here, which is length A? Imagine this point B here was fixed, and then you could swing this arm. In fact, it could actually be drawn like this. So notice, this is still a triangle where the given information is 30 degrees, side length 6, side length 5. However, the difference here is that we've actually swung this length of 5 back around. So this is a, a, a different type of triangle that's drawn with the same information, and that is the ambiguous cases. If I'm only told an angle side and a side, I don't know which one of these triangles would, would be the one we're interested in. So we have to account for both. So then the question is, well, if I want to find all the angles, how do I do that? So what I notice here, we're going to start here with case one, the blue case, is that I'm given 30 degrees here and I'm given five length of five. So that suggests sine law can be applied. And since I know length six, I'm going to apply sine law to find length C. Okay. So we set this up and we say sine, and I'm actually going to call this C sub 1. And the reason why is because notice there's a C in this angle as well, this triangle as well. So sine C1 over 6 is equal to sine of 30 degrees over 5. So we get sine of C1 is equal to 6 sine 30 degrees over 5. Oh, pardon me, a little writing error there. And sine of 30 is 1 half, so 1 half times 6 is 3, so we have 3 over 5. And now I can get out my trusty calculator and take sine inverse of 3 over 5. Remember to make sure your calculator is in degrees mode, then I get approximately 36.87 degrees. So we can use our approximate symbol here, 36.87. 7 degrees. So that's C in this case. Well, if A is always 30 degrees, and in this case C1 is 36.87, I can then calculate B here. So what we say is B1 is equal to 180 degrees minus 36.87 minus 30 degrees. So let's type that in our calculator. And we get 113.13. .13. 
So there's our blue case right there. So then the question comes, well, how do I, if, if my calculator actually works out this blue case triangle, and, and it actually makes sense if we look at it, your calculator gave you an answer of 36.87, and obviously this angle here, which let's call it, let's call this angle C2, and we'll call this length B2, C2 is obviously not 36.87 degrees. So the question is, how do I get C2? If my calculator is giving me C1, how do I get C2? And the rule we apply is that C2 is going to equal 180 degrees minus C1. So that means C2 is going to be approximately 180 degrees minus 36.87 degrees, which is approximately that's my phone, 180 minus 36.87, which gives me a value of 143.13, which makes sense now because this looks like an obtuse angle. So therefore, if I now know C2, I can find B2, which is going to be 180 degrees minus 143.13 degrees minus 30 degrees which is approximately equal to, so let's take this by calculator, 180 minus 143.13 minus 30, which is about 6.87 degrees. And there's my answer, B2. So this is what I mean by an ambiguous case. An ambiguous case triangle is a triangle where where enough information is given that you can draw a triangle, but there could be multiple cases that arise. And this specific example where we're given 30 degrees, 6, and 5, it turns out there are two unique cases. I'm not going to talk about this in this video, but it is a good thing to think about is what are the cases where only one triangle can be drawn when we're given an angle side side? And there's some interesting little geometric exercises you can go through to imagine this. Finally, this rule here that I applied, um, I just said, okay, if you use sine law, it's always going to give you your acute angle here. And then the rule was to take 180 degrees and subtract the acute angle. There's, there's some rationale behind that, and I do encourage you to take a look at that if you get a chance. I hope this video helped.